If you have a website, you may have noticed something in your analytics. Up to 80% of people who go to your website never come back. As a business owner, we know you have other things to attend to, like your business. So how can you effortlessly help those abandoning website visitors turn into your happy paying customers? That's where we come in. Optin Monster is the tool you need to grow your email list and therefore your revenue. Optin Monster lets you create sales promotions, opt-in forms, and lead generation campaigns in a matter of minutes, letting you sit back and relax while your website rakes in the new leads for you. So you wanna know how it works? In this demo, we'll show you just how easy it is to get started with Optin Monster. Hey guys, this is Sarah from Optin Monster, and in today's demo, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use Optin Monster for lead generation on your website. Optin Monster truly is the tool you need to grow your email list and therefore grow your revenue. The best part about it is you don't need to know how to code. You can get it up and running on your site in a matter of minutes. It's great for beginners all the way up to advanced digital marketers. And I wanna show you exactly how you can use it to convert that website traffic into happy paying customers. So without further ado, we're gonna get right into the demo. All right, so this is our campaign dashboard and it's what we use to organize all of our Optin Monster campaigns. As you can see, the campaigns are organized according to website. And additionally, you can save individual campaigns into folders. So for instance, if you create a whole series of campaigns for your Black Friday promotions, you can save those into folders, which is incredibly helpful year after year, saving you tons of time. And within each site, you'll see the list of campaigns and the fire symbol that you see right there. It simply means that the campaign is converting exceptionally well. You can edit your campaigns, view their analytics to see how they're performing, create a split test to test variations like images and wording, create a duplicate, for example, when you have a high performing campaign. Here you have the option to add it to a website, you can also add your campaign to a folder. You can archive your campaign or simply trash it. So now we're gonna transition over to our account dashboard, which is where we get to see Optin Monster's native analytics and how our campaigns are performing as a whole. So as you can see here, this is also organized into our websites. So when we click on each individual website, it'll bring us to the analytics for that site. Over in the right-hand corner, you can determine the range of dates for the analytics you'd like to display. This can be anywhere from yesterday to last week, or you can get more granular with custom date ranges. This is a wonderful feature when you've had a recent sales promotion and you'd like to view the performance or can even help you in lead generation predictions that considers seasonality. You'll be able to see the visitors, leads generated, and conversion rate for that time period, allowing you to make data-driven decisions. And scrolling down, you'll be able to see your top converting campaigns, your top converting pages, as well as an overall visitors to leads generated bar graph. In the latest campaigns section, you'll get an overall view of the pop-up type and overall performance of your individual campaigns. And now for the part you've been waiting for, we're going to create a new campaign together just by clicking on that green create new campaign button. We have more than a hundred pre-made templates. As you can see, I'm gonna show you a couple of previews. We have some beautiful templates on our site that all you have to do is tweak them a little bit for your brand, for your website. And the best part about that is that it's even faster to get onto your website. And we also have the Canvas template for those of you who know exactly what you want your campaign to look like and don't want any design help. And if you've been using your website's generic pop-up builder, or even your email marketing services, generic pop-up builder, you're going to be shocked at the beautiful campaigns that you can build with Optin Monster. It really is light years away from what you think of when you think of a pop-up builder. So here's some full screen options, a slide in, the slide in is, Exactly that, it slides into your screen. Floating bar floats either on the top or bottom of your screen, as you can see, hey, <laughs> down here. And then your inline, we're gonna check out our, let's exit out of our floating bar. And then um, this is what it would look like on like a static blog article or a page on your site. 
So we're gonna create a pop-up campaign. I'm gonna use the Camber template. So I'm gonna name my campaign, and then I'm just gonna choose which site I want it to load on, and I'm gonna start building. So this is what it looks like inside our drag and drop builder. On the left hand side, you have the menu of everything you can possibly edit and change for the design of the campaign itself. And on the top, you'll see tabs where you can determine display rules, your email marketing integrations, Google Analytics, and finally publish the campaign. So the first thing we're going to do is to go into the yes, no view, because we know that having a yes, no button helps increase conversions. We're going to be creating a mock content upgrade campaign since lead magnets also help boost email signups. So by clicking on the text that brought up our text editor and we wrote in, do you want more website traffic? And in the drop down, I'm just gonna change the font. I can also change the font size. And here you have a list of merge tags if you'd like to personalize your campaign. As you can see, you can include the day, month, year, all the way down to the names of your subscribers, etc. The text editor allows you to format your text however you'd like, including adding links and even emojis. Additional text customization includes changing the font weight, line height, letter spacing, and text transformation. So next we're gonna click on the subtext and we're just going to type in, we'll send you our marketing secrets guide that gets us more than 1 million website visitors every month. We'll put 1 million in bold to really make it stand out. And next we're gonna click on the yes button to edit it. And we're gonna change the I need this report to I need this guide since we called it a marketing secrets guide. And we're gonna change the design of our button. So we'll, we'll scroll down here to gradient and we're going to put in our two different colors to create that gradient. I liked the green button. So I'll put a darker green as my first color and a lighter green as the second color and I like the way that looks. So then I'm gonna scroll down and to change it to a round button, you can scroll down to border radius and change the border radius to 30 and that'll create some rounded edges for your button. Next, we'll scroll back up to the hover tab. This determines what the hover looks like when you hover your mouse over the button. We're gonna click on copy regular styles. Next, we'll need to go into the action tab and here we'll want to make sure that our yes click will bring us to the opt-in view. Next, we'll want to format that no button. So we'll go to the no button tab and we'll change it to guide as well in the text. And we'll scroll down to the border radius and make sure that the border radius is also 30. Then we'll scroll back up to the hover tab and we'll click on copy regular styles again. And up next, we're gonna go back to our main menu and we'll click on the yes, no settings tab. And here we'll want to click on yes, no view styles and that's where we can change our image. You can upload your image from your computer or choose from your image library. We'll be choosing this accompanying graphic for our campaign. And we're gonna go back to the main menu so you can see the additional options you have available to you for the design of your campaign. So if you go to close button, you can choose if you'd like it to be a circle or a square close button, as well as the button position, the size, the weight, literally everything you can imagine just for the close button, you have the option to change it. You can even include a hover effect for your close button. So when you hover over the close button, it either gets darker or lighter or whatever you'd like it to do. And we're gonna go back to the main menu. And here you can go to custom CSS, and if there are parts of the campaign that you'd like to tweak or change even further, you can always do it in the custom CSS dialog box. Now back in the main menu, we're going to go to the blocks section. And here you can see you can always add on column blocks onto the campaign. And down below, you can see the different element blocks. We'll get a little bit further into this in the opt-in view. Next, in the display settings, you can decide how often a website visitor will see your campaign if they closed out of it originally. For our campaign, I'll choose on their next visit to the site. You can also choose when they'll see it again if they were converted, if they did get their email address. In this tab, you can also decide to disable the opt-in monster branding. So you just toggle that and it'll turn off. And returning to the main menu, we have the custom colors tab. And with this, you can save different color profiles like your brand colors or a color palette you're using for a promotion. This way you can easily access the colors when you're creating your campaign. 
this is a huge time saver. Returning to the main menu, you have a campaign notes section where you can take notes of any A-B testing variations or simply notes to self about the campaign. Now that we've completed our yes, no view, we're gonna go to the opt-in view. Another huge time saver is the import layout button. We're gonna click that and import our layout from the yes, no view. It brings over all the changes we've already made to the campaign. Next, we're gonna to go to the blocks tab and as we scroll down, we're going to drag and drop an opt-in fields button onto our campaign. As with all elements of our campaign, we can edit our sign up button. So we'll click the edit icon on the submit button and here we'll change our wording to say, send my guide. Next, we'll want to further configure our button. So we'll click on edit button style and content and here we'll go to the action tab. And here we have a few different options. We can either send them to the success view, which I'll go over in a second, or we can redirect to a URL. And this is where they would automatically download that marketing secrets guide or whatever lead magnet we're delivering to them. So this is a really seamless option when you're delivering a content upgrade. Returning to the blocks menu, you can see the element blocks available to you for the campaign include adding buttons, chatbots, countdown timers, dividers, custom HTML, icons, images, opt-in fields, spacers, text, video, and yes, no buttons. Finally, we're gonna go into the success tab to design that and finish our campaign. And here we can also click on the import layout button and import the layout from the opt-in view. Here, we'll just make a couple of changes We'll simply change our text to indicate to our new email subscribers that their marketing secrets guide is on its way. And we'll change our subtext to give them further instructions on how to access their content upgrade. And another thing you can do here is to include a link to the automatic download. So we'll just click, click here and include a link. And then for the link target, we'll put the automatic download URL. We'll add that in and then you can just format that link, underline it, change colors, etc., to make it look like a link and you're good to go. So the next step in creating our campaign is we want to decide who is going to see our campaign and when it's going to show up on our site. This is where you're really going to notice that Optin Monster is not like the pop-up builder you've used before. You can literally share any message with any target market at any time. This gives you incredible power and customization on your site. So I'm just gonna quickly show you what display roles you have available to you. You can show a campaign depending on the time that your website visitors spent on your page, on your site, if they're about to leave your site with exit detection. If you have a blog article and you're offering a PDF and you say, click here for my cheat sheet, you can use a monster link for that. Um, depending on distance scrolled on your website. You can show a campaign if they've been inactive, if it's a certain date, if it's a certain time or a certain date and time, if it's Monday and you wanna show a campaign for sales that you have on Monday, or if it's a certain month, uh, depending on the URL path, pages viewed, their device if they're on a computer, tablet or mobile phone, if they've opted into a previous campaign or not, um, if they've closed a certain campaign or haven't closed it, depending on campaigns that they've seen on your site, if they're new or returning to your website, depending on their URL path, their physical geographical location, you can also target that as well uh, based on URL query, a cookie that they might have in their browser, the refer URL, this is great if you're trying to target people coming from Google, Facebook, Instagram, um, or a podcast you just recorded, uh, depending on their ad blocker, what their URL hash is, if they were shown or not shown a previous campaign. So as you can see, just with that alone, you have so much control over when your campaign is going to be shown to your website visitors and when and who is going to see it. And beyond that, you can also combine them. So let's say we want to show our campaign if their exit is detected, but we also want to show it if they've been on our site for 30 seconds. Okay. And then in our summary, we'll be able to see that our display rules are exactly what we are hoping for and we can carry on. And so in our integrations tab, you'll be able to see that we have nearly every email marketing service provider available to you. So whether you use MailChimp, ConvertKit, Constant Contact, Aweber, or all of those you see here, 
we will be able to send your leads directly to your email marketing service provider. And if you don't have an email list yet, the great thing is, is we have monster leads. So we will collect all of those leads for you automatically, and they will be saved in monster leads. And then you'll be able to export that list when you do uh, sign up for an email marketing service provider or a CRM. So that's a really great option for people who are maybe just starting out. And not only if you're just starting out, but also if you would like to have a backup of all your leads, uh, you can rest assured that we will keep them for you. And in our analytics, we actually use native analytics. And that's what you saw in the beginning at our account dashboard. That's Optin Monsters native analytics. But if you do want to go one step further, and connect to your Google Analytics to really get down to the nitty gritty. You wanna make sure you connect to your Google Analytics. It takes a couple of clicks. Um, all you have to do is go to add a new Google connection and then you can connect your website profile. And then finally, to publish, it's literally toggling. That's all you have to do. Um, it, you have to make sure that your website is connected. Again, that happens in a couple of clicks. Um, but down here, we can also find the embed instructions depending on your website platform. So um, you have an embed code down here if you're going to embed your campaign directly. We also have a WordPress plugin that connects your Optin Monster campaign directly to your site. Shopify, it also gets published directly to your Shopify store. And then we also have shareable monster links. So if you want to include this campaign uh, on your Instagram profile or even on Facebook or in an email, you can do that with shareable monster links. So finally, I'm just gonna go to preview campaign and this is what it would look like on my site. That's exactly how your website visitors would see it. However, uh, when you preview a campaign, it's not following the display rules that you established. So don't worry about that. If you didn't want it to show up on your homepage and it's showing up on your homepage. It's just to show you what it would look like on your site. If you don't have an Optin Monster account yet, you just click on Get Optin Monster Now. That will bring you to our pricing page. And as you can see, you have options from as low as $9 a month. As your website traffic grows and you have higher demands, well, we can grow with you. So that's a quick demo of how quick, easy, and effective it is to use Optin Monster for your website campaigns. Again, this is the tool you need to convert and monetize your website traffic. Basically, you want to turn those anonymous website visitors into happy paying customers, and Optin Monster is what you need to be able to do that. I hope you enjoyed getting a little behind the scenes sneak peek into Optin Monster. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us in live chat. You can see down here, Archie wants to help you and our customer success specialists would love to help you out. So again, thanks for watching this demo and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Don't forget to get started. Just click Get Optin Monster now. Bye guys.